While AMD's 400 and 500 series video cards were great value GPUs, they were aimed at budget gamers. This meant that Nvidia's high-end 10 series cards have remained unchallenged. Until now. With AMD's new Vega GPU architecture, the company is back in the enthusiast mix and says that its RX Vega 64 can compete with Nvidia's $550 GeForce GTX 1080 for $50 less. But is it worth half a grand? Let's find out. We're reviewing the reference RX Vega 64, which is a dual slot card that measures 10.5 inches and comes with a traditional black shroud coupled with a 30mm fan. One concern against it up front is that it's a 295 watt TDP card. This is unprecedented for any single GPU that we've ever reviewed, and it requires a beefy 750 watt PSU with two 8 pin power connectors. In terms of ports, the RX Vega 64 includes three DisplayPort 1.4 connections and one HDMI output. The RX Vega 64 partially gets its name from the fact that it has 64 compute units. In terms of core and boost clocks, it's clocked at 1274 MHz and 1546 MHz respectively. AMD says the card is tuned for high frequencies and should be able to boost higher if it gets adequate power and cooling. It uses 8GB of second generation high bandwidth video memory. This new VRAM technology allows it to reach up to 483GB per second of memory bandwidth. That's a lot and should help it push game textures efficiently, which can come in handy at 4K-like resolution. The RX Vega 64 is a 12.7 teraflop card, which trumps Nvidia's equivalent GPU by 3.8 teraflops. But don't assume that tells the entire performance story. For that, let's dig into the benchmarks. Since AMD claims that the RX Vega 64 is competitive with Nvidia's GeForce GTX 1080, we're going to make direct comparisons against it. We also tested it against the slightly lower end GTX 1070 and Nvidia's flagship GTX 1080 Ti to give you additional context. We tested all the cards using the same system at three resolutions. We also ran each benchmark at their respective max settings to really stress test the cards. 3D Mark 11 Extreme is a 1080p test that's designed to measure GPU's DirectX 11 performance. The RX Vega 64 scored 13% worse than the GTX 1080 here. But, spoiler warning, AMD's card doesn't really live up to its full potential at 1080p. It seems like the resolution isn't demanding enough for it to fully flex its muscles. The RX Vega 64 performs a bit strangely in the rest of our other 1080p tests. It beats the GeForce GTX 1080 in our Shadow of Mordor benchmark by 5.5% respectively but loses to the lower tier GTX 1070 in Bioshock Infinite by a respective 10%. The GTX 1080 beats the RX Vega 64 by 8.2% in Tomb Raider, and overall, it seems like the GTX 1080 is better for standard HD gaming. A consolation prize for AMD's card is that the RX Vega 64 never dipped below 80 average FPS in any of our 1080p tests. This indicates that it's generally overkill for 1920 by 1080 unless you have a really high refresh rate monitor. Moving up to 2560 by 1440 another popular gaming resolution, the GeForce GTX 1080 continues to show its overall edge by repeatedly beating AMD's card in Tomb Raider, Bioshock Infinite, and Unigine Valley. AMD's card does once again outperform the GTX 1080 in Shadow of Mordor by 1.7% respectively though. 3840 by 2160 is where the RX Vega 64 really starts to pull ahead. AMD's GPU beats the GTX 1080 here in all of our 4K tests. Oddly enough, one of the biggest leads comes by way of Bioshock Infinite, which is where the GTX 1080 really thrashed the RX Vega at the lower resolution. At 4K, video RAM can really bottleneck a GPU, since it has to push so many high resolution assets. One of the likely reasons that the RX Vega 64 really comes into its own here is that it can efficiently do so with its very high memory bandwidth. While the RX Vega 64 is faster than the GTX 1080 at 4K, it's still going to struggle in the most graphically demanding games like Deus Ex Mankind Divided. In Valve's VR benchmark, the RX Vega 64 performed 11% worse than the GTX 1080. This suggests Nvidia's card is better for virtual reality. Some people were hoping that AMD's leading Vega GPU would outperform the $700 GTX 1080 Ti. Those people may be disappointed with the RX Vega 64, but it does largely live up to AMD's claim that it's competitive with the GTX 1080. As a matter of fact, it runs slightly better at 4K given our results. It won't be able to max out every single 4K game though. AMD says that it's an ideal card to max out the ultra-wide 3440 by 1440p monitors, and we'd agree and say that's probably where its sweet spot is. While the RX Vega 64 is a really good card, it's a bit hard to get super excited when it's coming out more than 14 months after the GTX 1080 and doesn't completely trounce it. It also consumes a confusing amount of power. Still, this doesn't prevent the card from being arguably faster than the GTX 1080 for $50 less. 
The ball is now in Nvidia's court to respond with either a price drop or a sooner reveal of its upcoming Volta GPUs, because AMD is back with a compelling choice for enthusiast gamers. For the full in-depth review, check out our written review on GameSpot.com. If you like this video, make sure you check out our video review of AMD's 500 and 570 GPUs. Also, make sure to give us a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.